this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's lovely world. And today in this video, as well as some googlies, I am going to be joined by Alpha Lee! Good morning, Alpha Lee. I am ready, Lee. Do you know what I'm ready for? You have one guess of what I'm ready for. Okay, guess now. Oh, <laughs> you missed there. Num, 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 num. I am, of course, ready for my cake for breakfast. I'm also ready to play our, our new little mini game. And I really enjoy this, actually. Uh, my new little mini game is you need to fire an arrow into the air so it lands on the top of the zombie's head. And do you want to go first, Lee? So he's got to just fire it up in the air. I think the trick is to not do it too high. And I think that wasn't too high, but it was definitely too far. Don't worry, Lee. It is very difficult. Right, line it up. Definitely at head high and then just hold it back a little bit. Oh, oh, not bad. Not bad. <gasps> How close was that? Let's go over there. Let me go and end pole over there. How close was that? Where's the arrow? I don't even, I can't even see where it's landed. Or maybe it wasn't close at all then. That looks so close, didn't it? Right, should we have another go, Lee? I enjoyed that. Right, let me just <laughs> waste all my ender pearls going back and forth here. I want us both to have another go, because that was so close. Right, you can go first again then, Lee. And uh, then I'll go and follow up afterwards to so see if we can do it. And what? What was that? <laughs> you did better than first guy. Right, I, I need to do better now. Line it up. Aim it up a little bit. I'm going to aim a little bit higher and pull a little bit harder. Oh, I think that's too far. Yeah, that one went too far. I, sh I should have only had one go. The, the second go didn't help at all. Uh, anyway, whoa. What's been going on in here? Henry is still on the loose, I guess. <laughs> Let's follow the trail of snow. He's, I think he's been having a, a wander investigating uh, all of the, the different rooms. Has he gone into the, the kitchen? He can't actually open doors because he's uh, actually got uh, no hands. Has he gone upstairs, do you think? Has he gone up to the, the clubhouse? Right, here, here's the challenge. First person to find Henry wins. Uh, let's go, go, go. Ah, I see where he's been. He's been downstairs. He's definitely been down here. And, oh, oh, there's a squid there dancing around under the boat. Where's he gone then? Oh, has he been in here? Oh, God, he hasn't been on the fire, has he? Has he been down this way? Oh, no, he's, he hasn't escaped, has he? Oh, no, okay, the doors are shut to the outside world. Where's he gone to then? Where is Henry? Quest to find Henry. Hmm, maybe he's a uh, plain hide and seek. He normally stays in his room, but he's uh, certainly be getting a, a lot more adventurous. I remember back in the day, he used to wander around without dropping snow all over the place. Those were the good days. Uh, do you reckon he's gone up here somewhere? He likes hanging out up here. He's definitely been around here a lot. Maybe he's gone down into to my storeroom or my love garden. Ah, there's lots of snow around here. Has he gone downstairs here? Lee's jumping up and down. Oh, this way. Oh, he, he's probably been exploring, hasn't he? He's definitely been... There he is. Henry! We found you. There's no point shutting your eyes and going up against the wall. We know you're there. He's there saying, if they can't see me, I can't see them. Oh, wait, no, the other way around. <laughs> anyway, we found you, Henry. Tell you what. At the beginning of every episode, we can have a, a game of a hide and seek with Henry as well. Anyway, let's not waste any more time because we do have a, a busy video. And so, yeah, today to the Love Garden, uh, I am adding... Uh, Sainted Arua 685 and that's actually because he wrote me a book and uh, he uploaded a, a video to YouTube of him reading through an entire book that he wrote for me and the book was amazing and he read it really well as well and so I'm going to leave uh, as a link in the description uh, a link to the uh, the video if you want to go and listen to Sainted Arua's book and uh, I actually spent loads of time writing books uh, while I was at school as well and that was uh, uh, probably what I spent uh, most time doing before I started making videos so uh, yeah, whenever I see someone doing something like that it always, uh, always has a, a special place in my heart and uh, something else that has a special place in my heart is of course my dogs and why why are my dogs still wandering around I, I reckon they might be sleepwalking maybe oh god there's one right there maybe they just don't like maybe they don't like being cooped up in here maybe they all want to maybe they all want an outside dog house would you like that do you want an outside dog house <laughs> i don't think benji's really interested anyway who should we take with me let's take let's take sherbet with me today we haven't uh, had sherbet joining us in a while and where, where is sherbet well where, where are they are they all completely outside Maybe maybe it's just been getting a little bit too hot. Have you seen Sherbet Barnaby? No? Has he, has, has he gone out here somewhere? All right, let's go for a hunt for dogs. I've got Henry hiding all over the place, and my dogs are hiding all over the place as well. Uh, there was Flippy back then. <laughs> I've got a dog here hiding in the grass. That's Duncan there hiding down inside of the, the leaf blocks. And there's Sherbet. You can see uh, Sherbet's there, coat glistening uh, in the, the sun, Sherbet's fur. Right, You can come and join us, Sherbet. And uh, we're not actually travelling too far. Uh, we're building right over here. Uh, you can actually see we've actually um built up the uh, land a lot. It used to just 
just be all water. Actually, I can probably show you. If I come over here and just uh, break a hole, you can see what kind of it looks like underneath. Yeah, this <laughs> this is what the, the land used to be like. Uh, but me and Lee have been... Uh, oh, been very busy uh, building up all of the the land uh, so we can build uh, a whole load of uh, new shops and restaurants and uh, other thing, uh, other fun things uh, all the way around here and uh, what we're building today is the Pretty Kitty, uh, which is a new spa I'm going to be building. So it's going to be a big building, which is going to kind of look like a, a glass pyramid. And then it's going to have water trickling all down the top. And are you going to go inside and you're going to get pretty? There's going to be the Pretty Kitty beautifying machine or something along those lines. And a jacuzzi and like a, a fish foot bath spa thing. And uh, yeah, it's basically going to be a place where we can go in and uh, make ourselves even more beautiful than we already are. <laughs> anyway, so let's stop talking about it and uh, let's go and start building it. Sure, but if you want to sit down here, it might be a good idea because the first thing me and Lee are going to have to do is uh, dig out the ground all around here. You can see these four torches? Uh, I placed these down just before the video uh, just so I could uh, mark out the area. And uh, what we're going to do is actually have the floor made out of glass. And there goes Lee falling down. <laughs> Make your way to me, Lee. That's like, a, that's like a cartoon where you can just see the dirt coming towards you. I'm going to go stand over uh, here by the post, obviously. If you just charge straight towards me, breaking a hole in the dirt. It looks like there's Bugs Bunny or someone under the ground coming towards me. Where are you going, Lee? You're going in the wrong direction. No, you've got to stay within the square. You're making a mess. <laughs> Unless that is just a, a wild wabbit there just going around breaking all of the ground. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, what we're going to do is we're going to destroy all of this ground and then we're going to have a glass floor and then underneath the glass it's all going to be water so as you look down you're just going to see water underneath the glass and then we're going to have a, a whole load of uh, glowstone all over the other uh, place as well just uh, uh, lighting the entire area up and I realize we've done this in a bad way so now there's just a, an island in the middle and all be careful Lee I can see there's a creeper there's a creeper underneath down there in the little cave maybe there's not enough torches be careful he's right underneath you Lee he's right underneath you can you see him he's, he's directly underneath you Lee um, um, I'm not sure how we're gonna deal with this. Oh, he's coming up! He's coming up! He's coming up! No! No! Oh, there's a skeleton as well! Where's the skeleton? I just got shot by one. Where is he? Did he get blown up in the blast as well? Um, I suppose we could use the creepers to help us build. Seeing as we're just destroying all the dirt, if we just lure creepers underneath it and let them blow up, then they can do all the, the hard work for us. <laughs> anyway, let's go and uh, climb up to, to the top up here, and let's go and uh, uh, continue destroying all of this dirt. And then we're gonna place down a uh, light blue wall uh, under underneath and then put the the water on top of that so that's why I've got the uh, uh, the sheep over there which uh, I've dyed blue and uh, yeah so once we've gone and uh, destroyed all of this we can go and start building the uh, the spa proper and <laughs> was that really necessary using an ender pearl to get about five blocks ahead of you I suppose you managed to to do it easier and so yeah while you're doing those last few blocks down there Lee uh, I'm gonna start getting rid of the the second layer and it's actually kind of lucky the fact that we have this kind of this cave underneath us because a lot of the shops and things have basements or just like a second floor under the ground and uh, yeah because there's all of these basements I'm not gonna have to bother digging it all out like kind of we've got like half the work done already for us so if I just keep destroying all of this down here and then we need to to place the the blue wall down on this level and then we're gonna place the the water above it that way uh, having blue wall underneath will just make it kind of look like endless water sort of as, as deep down as uh, as it's gonna go and then we're gonna pour water over the entire spa so it's all just sort of trickling down the sides and like all over the the walls and stuff and so it's just going to look like a, a big bulge of water basically and because uh, it's going to have all the glowstone as well it's all going to be glowing as well and hopefully uh, just look really cool so let's go and um start putting down some of the the blue wall then if we just go around here and then uh, above this we're gonna have to do uh, a ring of a uh, glowstone all around the top so this is going to basically be the the wall so this should actually be uh, too high really so if I go and start uh, building it up this way as well and then yeah just uh, the floor down there that's where all of the the other blue walls gonna be and uh, so while Lee's doing that I might start going around doing some some glowstone and wait Lee 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 get down stay down stay down there's someone over there. I think it might be. Let me have a closer look. Is it? It's hit the target. It's hit the target with one of my dogs. That's why the dogs are all over the place. It's hit the target coming to try and steal them again. No, don't. Don't shoot, Lee. Don't shoot. This is our chance to get him once and for all. For once, we got the upper hand. We're surprising him rather than him surprising us. Right, get ready. I've got my sword ready. We need to ambush him. Oh, he's coming right towards us. Get down, Lee. Get down, right. I'm going to use my ender pole and try and ender pole on top of the post office. You stay down here. I'm going to say three, two, one, go. And then we ambush him and just make sure there's no chance of him escaping. 
escaping, right? Hopefully all my practice ender pearling to the F1 car is going to pay off. And there we go. I landed right on the roof. Right, where is he? Where is he? He's got to be around here somewhere. Oh, he's going right past you, Lee. Okay, on the count of three, okay? Three, two, one. Go, 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 go. Oh, no, I missed my first shot. Get him, Lee. Run in, get him, get him, get him. I'm going to jump down. I'm going to jump down and go after him. I'm going to catch him. I'm going to catch him. No, I fell into the squid tank. I'm stuck in the squid tank, Lee. I can't get out. Quick, chase him down. Chase him down. Don't let him escape. Oh, I need to end a pole out of here if I can. Oh, no, I can't end a pole out. I'm stuck. Right, if I end a pole just up. No, I'm just getting hurt. I'm stuck in the tank. Right, I'm just going to have to break my way out of the tank. Don't let him escape, Lee. We're not letting him escape this time. He escapes every time. This time, we're going to get him once and for all. He stole my dogs too many times. Right, here we go. You go around one way, Lee. I'm going to go around the other way. I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him. Oh, no, he's running away. There we go. I managed to hit him. Hopefully, that's going to send my dogs after him. Here we go. We've got him trapped. He's there running away. There's two of us and only one of him. Oh, he's got no way of escaping. Oh, look how quick he is, though. Look how speedy he is. Right, you go around that way, Lee. I'm going to go around this way. And let's just make sure we're able to get him once and for all. Wait, where's he going to run to? He's always able to slip out our graphs. He's right here. I managed to get right in front of him. I'm the worst shot with the bows and arrows, though. I am so bad at this. <laughs> just don't let him escape Lee just do not let him escape oh he's gonna run over the bridge oh where's he gonna run to actually I think we're okay Lee I think he's gonna run to a dead end he's just gonna keep going down this way and he's just gonna end up getting to the uh, the emergency igloo and there's gonna be nowhere else for him to go and what's going on there's just a there's just a boat sailing around by itself why how's there just a boat sailing around <gasps> who's that 